This is where you can get data on how all of your engagement in your emails and your phone calls and your LinkedIn messaging, you can see how all of that is performing so that you can optimize your outbound workflow. Let's dive in. All right, so of course, here I am in Apollo, and you'll notice that my UI may look a little different than yours depending on when you're watching this. That's because I am showing you uh, live from the Apollo instance of Apollo. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the left or along the top, depending, and I'm just gonna click on Analytics, which is underneath the Engage tab. And that's gonna take me here to this Reports page. Now there's two things that we can look at. We can look at dashboards and we can look at reports. A dashboard is a collection of reports. So let's go ahead and start with reports and then we'll zoom out and we'll go to dashboards. We do have some templates that you can use to build your reports, but I wanna show you how to build them on your own. So we're just gonna go ahead and click create report. Now I wanna see some email performance stats for a few of the account executives on my team. And I can give my report a name and then I get to decide who has access to this. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some filters. Really quickly, I'm gonna hit save. So I've got my workspace saved here and then I can just hit edit report. Okay, so first thing I have to do is decide what time frame do I wanna look at? And I'm interested in looking over the last 30 days. So I'll just leave it at that. Now I have to add some filters. I wanna look at some users on my Apollo instance. So I'm gonna, drop their names here. I'm gonna say Lindsay, Sarah, and David. So this tells me what this report is actually going to query. Next, I have to actually, on the right-hand side, decide what I want to be analyzing. So I'm interested in seeing how our emails are performing. I wanna see the number of emails sent, and I want to see the percent that were delivered, and the percent that bounced, and the percent that were opened, and the percent that replied with interest. That's gonna give me a pretty healthy amount of data to start. And now I have to choose how I want to visualize that. And I have a bunch of different options. I can do like a heat map, a pie graph, bar chart, line graph. I think a table makes the most sense for this query. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit run. And you'll see lickety split. This is real time. Here's my report. Over the last 30 days, we've had 4,600 emails sent. Most of them were delivered. A large percentage of them were opened and a healthy reply rate as well. But let's say I wanna dive a little bit deeper into the data. What I can do is on the right hand side, I can click on dimensions. So metrics, these are hard numbers that we can pull things for, right? How many calls did you do? LinkedIn tasks, number of accounts you called, that kind of thing. On the right, these are ways we can slice that data for you to make building reports and dashboards really easy. So let's say, for example, I wanna see how these things performed by day of the week. I can just choose day of week, I can hit run, and now this report comes back to me like this. This is kind of interesting, right? I'm noticing that my reply rate on Sundays is much, much lower than it is on every other day of the week by like a factor of four or five. So immediately I have something that I can take away from this. So from here, I can go to the settings tab and now I can go to schedules and this can allow me to edit the schedules that my sequences will be sent on. And you'll notice, hey, some of these include Sunday. Well, the data is showing me that Sunday is probably not a good time to be emailing people. Let's go ahead and take that off so that Apollo will only send emails Monday through Saturday. That's just one example of a report that you can build really quickly. I'll go ahead and hit save and finish. And now I'm going to have this report I can check at any time. And I can go back to reports now and if I want, I can actually build a dashboard. So now I'm gonna to go to dashboards and I'm gonna hit email engagement stats. And this is gonna give me a variety of reports right out of the box. I can see which rep is sending the best emails. And if I wanna change the date, I can just click over here. I can select a date range, let's say from the beginning of June till now, we're on the dashboard and let's see who is actually sending the best emails. It looks like Clara is sending the highest percentage of emails that got opened. I can scroll down, hey, what sequences are most effective? What templates are most effective? What sequences have the most success? These are reports that were built for me by Apollo, and I didn't have to do a whole lot to get this data. So that's one of the things I really love about the engagement tab is how easy it is to use. So I would encourage you to come in here and start building out reports and then creating custom dashboards. It's great to use some of the ones that we give you out of the gate, but it's also really helpful to just know what your team is doing and start building reports.